OP's sister had an abortion to save his life. What really happened? I was very sick four years ago and was in need of a liver transplant. My situation was that it was very unlikely that I would get one in time. At that time, my sister was pregnant. I didn't know as it was early less than two months. My situation was getting worse, and my sister decided to do an abortion, and then two months later, we did the transplant surgery. I never knew about the pregnancy. All I knew was that she gave me half of her liver. My sister and her husband divorced a year later. I didn't know the truth until yesterday, when my mom slipped up about an abortion that my sister had. I asked her about it, and she told me everything. She told me that my sister made her promise not to tell me, and she failed that promise. My sister was very happy. My brother-in-law was a very decent guy. I knew they were looking forward to having children. They were great together. She always told us about how lucky she was to have found him. Apparently, at the time of their decision, my sister and her husband had a great disagreement. He didn't want her to have the abortion and risk the transplant surgery, and he was hopeful that my situation might sort itself out without my sister's help. The chance was very small, but it was there. My sister didn't agree. They couldn't convince one another, and my sister did things anyway without his blessing. They tried working things out after the surgery. They went to counseling. They even tried to have another baby, but they couldn't get themselves to do it. He couldn't forgive my sister, and she wasn't all that apologetic, so they ended up separating and eventually divorcing. My sister isn't happy now. Hasn't been since the surgery. She never told me the real reason for her divorce. She told me that they were after different things. I just learned things from my mom. I asked my mom if my sister still thinks that she did the right thing. She said, she's not sure. I can't stop feeling guilty. My sister saved my life, but destroyed her own by doing it. She had to abort the baby she definitely loved and looked forward to, and she did that knowing that it would probably end her marriage as well. I was ready to go at that time. I had accepted my fate, and I was at peace. She should have just let me, SHT. My brother-in-law should have told me, so I would have talked her out of it. I'm surprised he didn't. I can't feel anything but hatred for myself. I don't know what to do. Should I talk to my sister? What should I tell her? Should I keep my mouth shut and pretend that I don't know? I'm not sure if I'll even be able to look into her eyes and not show that I know. I just don't know what the F I should do. Please, please, help me. My sister had an abortion to be able to give me part of her liver, which saved my life, but it cost her marriage. Update. Oh my god people. I want to thank you all. I never expected to receive so many comments and so many personal messages. You were all wonderful, so I owe all of you an update. The next day, after my first post, I came back and read everything again. My instinct before the post was to hate myself, and I wanted to go to her and tell her that she shouldn't have done it. But you helped me understand that it would do no good. So I decided to go to her, tell her how much I love her, how I owe my life to her, and that I know everything. It wasn't about me hating myself for the damage it caused to my sister. It's about me doing all I can to help her heal all the remaining wounds and move on. So I texted her and went to her place the next night. I couldn't stop the tears when I saw her, so I just went and hugged her. She asked what's up, and I told her that I knew. That was where she started crying too. We talked a lot that night. I told her that I love her, and that every second that I have now is because of her and her sacrifice. I told her that our parents gave me life for 18 years, but she gave me a lifetime. I didn't say anything about whether she should or shouldn't have done it, only how much I value and appreciate what she did for me, and how much I treasure having a sister like her. She talked to me about her decision making. She told me that there was never a doubt about her. She said if she hadn't done it, she would have resented herself, her husband, and her child for the rest of her life. She said that if time went back, she'd do the same thing in a heartbeat. She told me that right before the abortion, her husband put his and her hands on her belly and asked her to feel their baby and not do this. But she came to me and put her hand on my chest to feel my heartbeat, I don't remember it. And that's when she had zero doubt that she would do whatever it took to save me. I think I have the best sister in the world. I asked why she didn't tell me sooner and she said she didn't want me to feel guilty. She thought that she could carry this burden herself. She said her marriage was dead the second she did the abortion, but she said she'd do a hundred abortions and divorces if it meant saving my life. It was amazing. We couldn't help but hug each other every couple of minutes. We talked for hours. Talking to each other made both of us feel free. In the end, she told me that she made a mistake, keeping it from me since I was able to understand it well. We made a couple of promises to each other. We're going to help each other move forward from this. I'm going to help her and push her when necessary to get treatment for her depression. We're going to do things with each other every week. And when she's ready, she's going to start dating again. 
I texted her on Saturday, telling her to free her schedule for Sunday, as I wanted to take her somewhere. I didn't tell her where. I took her to an amusement park. This is the same park that she took me to when I was 11. We haven't been there since. That's like half of my life. That day was great. She took me on all the rides, and we had a wonderful time. I told her that we're going to be kids again, and we're going to let go of everything and have fun like children. It was so nice. We took some of the rides that we took 11 years ago. It was amazing. When I drove her back home at night, she thanked me, gave me a long hug, and told me that this was her best day in probably five years. We're both doing much better. The truth brought us together, and we're helping each other move on. Even though it's been such a short time, she looks much happier. If anyone deserves happiness in life, it's her, and I'm sure she will find it. I'm sure she'll find the right person when she's ready, and she will have kids, and I'll do everything I can to be the world's best uncle to them. TLDR. We talked for hours and discussed our feelings. It brought us back together. We promised to help each other. She's going to come back to life, and I'm going to be here with her every step of the way. Thank you for watching the video. If you are interested in listening to these kinds of stories, we've got more in store for you. Simply subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, and share it with your friends.